Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we will talk about type of objects in Salesforce. So basically we have two specific type of objects. One is the standard object and the other one is the custom object. Now what is the difference between a standard object and a custom object? So standard objects are the objects that come with the Salesforce. So if you talked about in the previous tutorial, we looked at objects like accounts, we looked at objects like lead, opportunity, etc. Those are called as the standard objects. So basically Salesforce gave you a set of objects which you can use for your business needs. So you can use the existing account object if you need to. You can use the existing lead object and also Salesforce gives you the flexibility of adding new fields on these standard objects. Now, sometimes what happens is that the objects that Salesforce has provided does not meet the purpose. So in that time, what you can do is you can also create a custom objects. So the objects that you want specifically for your business needs. So let's say you are working in hospitality kind of business and you want to keep track of uh, how many uh, how many hotels you have or how many visitors are there things of that nature and you can you want to use a specific object to keep track of that then what you can do is inside of salesforce you can create a custom object now anytime you create a custom object then it will always end with this suffix underscore underscore c that basically tells you that it is a custom object that you have created for your own purpose. Now, in order to get a complete list of all the standard objects that are there, what you can do is you can go over to Salesforce uh, to your account. And if you go to the gear icon, click on the setup, you land over here. And if you go to the object manager, this is basically all the standard list of objects that Salesforce has provided. And the standard list of object, if you want to search a specific object and you want to know what are the fields of that object, then you can type in the name of the object in this quick find and it will pull up that particular object. So let's say if I go over to the lead and on the left hand side, it will give you all the information related to the lead object, not the records that are there in the lead only the metadata metadata means information about your object things like what is the api name what is the name for the, the the label for the object things of that nature and then on the left hand side if you move from details over to the fields and relationship this is a complete list of the fields that are available under the lead object so you can see here the lead object has a field called address revenue status company etc so this is the complete list of fields now you can even add the list a, a new custom field to this lead object so it's not only that you cannot add the uh, custom fields you can even add your own fields to the existing object so you can add your own field onto the lead object or if you are not happy with the object that has been given to you out of the sales force means the sales you're not if the standard objects don't serve a purpose then you can create your own custom object and in order to do that you can see this create button and it'll ask you hey do you want to create a custom object so choose this first option here create custom object and here you will provide the name for your custom object that you want to create so let's say, for example, we go ahead and create a object called employee. And it's asking you what is going to be the plural label. So we'll call it as employees. And then if you scroll down, it is asking you for the record name and format. So we'll keep it as record name as employee name. So record name is the one field which Salesforce will create when it is creating your custom object. So it's the record name field. Then do you want this object to allow reports? Yes, allow activities. It, we want it to track the field history and we also want this object to be part of the chatter groups and then leave everything as it is. We are not changing any of that. And then we are going to create a tab for this custom object. So creation of tab is a, um, it's optional. So if you want your 
your object to be accessible via a tab, then you will check on this checkbox. If you don't want to have a tab created for your object, then you can leave this unchecked. But for the timing, we want to access our employee object via the tab. So I'm going to create this tab for it. Once you hit that, hit the save button. And then it is going to ask you what is the style? Like basically the what do you how you want your um, tab to look like, like the icon that you want to choose. And uh, from here, I can choose whatever icon I want. So I like it to be because employee refers to people. So I'm going to choose people as the option and then hit the next. And then I'm going to leave everything as default and then hit the next button. Now it is asking me this object, where do you want? Which applications do you want this object to be part of? So for the timing, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to add my object that I'm creating to every application. I'm only going to add in specific applications only. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this checkbox. And then if I scroll down over here, I'm going to only make this available for, let's say the marketing here. So let's go ahead and make it available for the marketing application. I also want it to be available for the service application. And then let's see if there is anything else I wanted to make it available for. So if I scroll down here, you click on this one and I want to make it available for the, I think that's it. So I've added this particular tab only to two applications. One is the marketing. Let me just add it to the uh, sales as well. And let's go ahead and uh, scroll at the bottom and then hit the save button. So now if you see here, first of all, the it's a custom object, you created a custom object. So it ended up with the underscore underscore C. But if you open up a standard object, standard objects will not have this suffix underscore underscore C. Underscore underscore C basically tells you that it's a custom object. And now if I go over to the fields and relationship, what happens is anytime you create a object, there are certain set of fields that automatically gets created for that particular object. So for example, the modified by was the field that automatically got created. The owner field is another field that automatically got created when you created an object and then created by who created this object, that field has also been automatically created. So now if I wanted to see where is my tab that I created went under. So if I go over to the marketing, you will see that the employee object is available under this marketing application. And if I click over to the employees, since there are no records here, this is how you can look at the new object that you have created. And if you want to add records, you can go ahead and click on new. And this is the way you will add records into your employee object. This is just to give you a quick overview of how to create a custom object, but we'll dig deeper into each and every option that we saw. But just to recap, we have added this employee tab in multiple applications. We added in the marketing, we also try to add it in the service application. So if you go over service application also has this employees tab. If you want to create a record, you're going to go ahead and click on new. And the only field that came up, this is the field that we basically automatically get created under the record name. So now if I wanted to add a record, I can say employee name is Deepika and then hit the save button. So I've added first record under this employee tab. Under the employee table, I have created one record. And you can see here, this is the field I created while I was creating the object. But the rest of the fields, owner, last modified, created by, these are the fields that automatically gets created whenever you create an object. These are system fields. So if you go over to the object manager again, so in order to go to the object manager, you'll go to the setup. And over here, go to the object manager and then look for, if you want to look for your employee object, you will see that this is how you can pull up your employee object and then click on that one. And if you go under the fields and relationship, you will see that, hey, these are the fields that are automatically created. And this is the field that I have created, employee name but the rest of the fields are common across all the objects. So any object that you create will have a certain set of the fields that will automatically will be created by Salesforce. 
basically to keep track of who created it, um, that record, and uh, when was it created, and and when when that record was modified. So just to keep track of those information, these fields will automatically get created for every object that you create. And no matter if it's a standard object or a custom object, these fields will be common across all the objects. Now going back here, so there, as I mentioned, there are two main categories of the objects. One is the standard object and the other one we have is the custom object. 